Tank Engine and Friends has been an important part of people's lives for the last 65 years. Since starting as a book series, it has grown enormous worldwide, with retail products of Thomas and Friends have exploded in all shapes and sizes. There are 360 episodes, seven specials, including a feature-length film, over 12 series and 200 different characters, road and rail alike. Thomas and Friends started as a book series, written by the Reverend W. Audrey. And it's hard to think that all this started with one little short story. Steam engines have played an important part in British history. They inspired many little boys who would watch the trains go by along the line. One of these boys was the Reverend Wilbert Audrey, who as a child loved steam engines. His father had a garden railway in the back garden, and Audrey would often watch the steam engines going by along the line. Audrey later abandoned steam engines and grew up. He married Margaret Whale, and together they had a son called Christopher. One painful day, Christopher was ill with measles. He asked his father a question. Daddy, what would you call an engine? His son asked. The first name that came into his father's head was Edward. And together they wrote down the first story about an engine who wanted to come out of the shed. This would, late, this would become one of many stories that were to be written and would create the whole island of Sodor. The first railway book was published in 1945, which was three railway engines. By 1960s, there were 27 books had been written, leading to a whole creation of big engines, little engines, and small engines. By the 1980s, a female television producer, Britt Allcroft, read some of the railway series and fell in love with the characters and the plots, so much so that she decided to animate them. After teaming up with several other crew members, she produced the first series of Thomas and Friends that premiered on ITV in September 1984. The first series ran for 26 episodes and had not very many characters due to the short number of models that were being made. The second series followed with 26 episodes and saw a much wider range of characters. The first two series were narrated by Beatles star Ringo Starr. Series 3, however, saw change. Instead of following the railway series books, the TV series started to take its own roots. The Reverend W. Audrey was very angry at this and made complaints in the local newspaper. Following what Reverend Audrey had said, Bittorcroft chose to stay close to the railway series plots. Series 4, which is my favourite series, saw introduction of narrow gauge engines. Characters such as Duke, Sir Handel, Peter Sam, Scarloe, Reneus, Duncan, and Rusty, Little Diesel. It also saw the introduction of Stepney the Bluebell Engine, who appeared in the first episode, Rusty to the Rescue. 